And the Highlanders won the other semi-final, so they'll play the Waratahs next weekend. Nick Phipps, the New South Wales halfback, would have watched both games with a lot of interest, particularly the Brumbies. Long trip, short turnaround, injury clouds around Pocock. That's a wonderful performance from the Brumbies. Absolutely. They had a, sort of a lot against them. The Stormers had a lot riding with them, and Brumbies came out and shocked them in that first sort of 25 minutes, and then they just smartly sort of lock the game down. We were kind of talking a little bit before we came on about uh, the fact that the Stormers made all of those changes uh, in the week leading up. Might have backfired, obviously. Yeah, I think they were looking to rest their star squad, but then sort of backfired in that first 25 when they just weren't sort of, you know, gelling together out there on the field. You saw three quick tries in that first 25 and then the game's just a catch up from then on. There's a lot of rivalry between the Australian franchises, but deep down you would have liked them uh, to win last night. Yeah, absolutely. It's good to see the uh, Aussie boys doing well. We're, we're really happy that there's two Aussie teams in the finals and that's only good for the Wallabies later down the track. What about the winger, Joe Tamani? Three tries in the opening half and a, and a fend off his opposite number, which uh, I think you'll see just here, Wooshka. That's You don't like to see that as a defender. Nah, he's a big, powerful boy, Joe. And it's good he got the, the ball in his hands a little bit more tonight and you can see how devastating he is. Now, they've only lost two games all year, Wellington, or the Hurricanes, and their record has been outstanding. And it's been a real turnaround for the franchise because they really haven't got a lot to show for the last sort of decade. How tough will that be over at the cake tin? Yeah, it'll be tough, but finals footy is a different sort of footy. Uh, the Brumbies have been in the finals the last two or three years, so they've got a lot of experience in their squad. Their, their younger players have sort of grown up now, and they're, they're quite dominant leaders in the squad. So... Going over there, playing the Hurricanes away from home, it'll be, it'll be a great game for them. But what about the fact that they're coming from South Africa uh, over to New Zealand? What's easier, travelling that way or travelling back? I think travelling back's a little bit easier. I think they've only been in that time zone for a week, so they'll be getting back to their, their home time zone. They'll be feeling a little bit better for it. What about the red card, uh, Spate? Uh, it's a huge blow, but obviously, it, for mine, it looked like a clear red card. He was trying to tell the referee that he was just a... It was a sling tackle one way or the other, but it looked to me a clear red card. Yeah, I think there's just no grey area in that sort of part of the game at the moment. They want to really clamp down on it, and unfortunately, whether it was a sling tackle or not, he sort of landed on top of his head, and there's not a lot you can really argue about that. Yeah, there's, not, there's not a great deal of uh, things you can do. I mean, obviously, he's going to be suspended by Sanzar, or maybe he won't be, but is there any level of appeal going forward or is it basically you get a week you get two weeks and that's it i think he's got the right to appeal there but um i think you know with a red card on the field it's pretty much an automatic one week so you know hopefully he gets off he the, the brumbies you know they need him as a great player yeah. and he, he he'd be pretty remorseful for that but i don't know it's, it's pretty yeah. tough nowadays <laughs> i don't think he's going to get off that one okay so last week i remember reading a story about uh, michael checker deciding whether he's going to give you blokes an easy week or he's going to flog you. And I said, he's going to flog them. So what actually happened? Yeah, we had the Monday off and then uh, that, that was sort of <laughs> straight was out the door. <laughs> that was it. And then we, uh, he got really stuck into us in the back half of the week, which, which is good. I think it, it's, he does this every... He did this, the exact same thing last year. He flogged us on Centennial Park again in that sort of semi-final break. And that, that, that was work, worked really well for us. And I think it's great. It sort of brings us back down to earth. It, shows that we need to keep working hard and that nothing's been accomplished yet. Well, you watched the Highlanders-Chiefs uh, match. The, I, I, didn't, I watched I didn't think that the Highlanders looked really in trouble, even though it took them a while to break clear. What did you think of the game? I thought it was a great game, another Kiwi Derby. Uh, the crowd was awesome. Yeah, both, that was good, wasn't Both it? teams are sort of having a real crack and uh, it was on a nice edge, I thought, for a lot of the game. It was, uh, it was a good game, but Aaron Smith seemed to be the deciding factor at the end there. And, they just, uh, they just took their opportunities better than the Chiefs did. It was a great game. It's certainly an imposing place to play at now, Dunedin, of course. And uh, it has been in the past when uh, in, it was the old ground. Uh, but can they come over here and defeat? They've beaten you already this year. Mm. Uh, their record in, uh, at Allianz Stadium, I'm not sure of it. Is it OK? Is it, your record's pretty good at home, of course. Yeah, well, earlier in the year, they sort of got stuck into us over there in Dunedin. And uh, this time last year, we sort of... We beat them at Alliance um, quite well, so you know it's going to be a great game. Again, it's finals footy; they're going to be they're going to be up for it. They haven't sort of seen a final series for a while, and they'll be looking forward to the opportunity over here to to you know get some names in there. Are you playing better this year or last year? I mean, because that first half against the Reds was pretty ordinary, and then all of a sudden you flicked it into gear in the second half. But honest opinion, better or worse than last year? I think we're playing our big games better. I think uh, we've been. You know, sort of along the way, we've had a few ups and downs, but we've, our big games we've always stood up for. And 
this is big game footy at the moment. Semi-final at home in front of a bumper crowd should be awesome. So yeah. hopefully we're playing our best footy at this time of the year and um, then we'll hopefully you know reward the fans for their faith. Well, we had state of origin in the rugby league. It might be country of origin now in the uh, rugby uh, because we've got two trans-Tasman battles. You can see them on screen and you guys won't get to watch the first one, maybe in the uh, dressing sheds, but you'll be focused on the second one. Hurricanes Brumby, Saturday at 5 o'clock and then Backing up with the Waratahs Highlanders at 7.30, both on Saturday, both live on Fox. Nick, thanks for coming in on Sunday morning. Uh, enjoy your day off and uh, back into it this week. Yeah, thanks for having me.